Mm. Okay, uh, today we're going to have a quick look at um, making a flat bottom on your dome. This is a two frequency uh, and obviously uh, we can see that there's a nice flat line across the bottom. This is the only one that works out of the box um, with a flat bottom. Uh, how I normally work my uh, domes is to just stretch up the ground and we can see that that's nice and flat. Everybody's happy. Uh, but then if we take a look at a different dome, this one is three frequency, we get a bit of a problem going on. Right, we'll do the same again. We'll take the uh, the ground and raise it on up to here to start with. Uh, and this one, this vertex is underground. We'll raise it up again so you can see. We just have a look at here. Right, there you go. This is the famous uneven, un, uh, undulating base on a three frequency dome. Now, there's uh, a couple of different methods uh, you can use to address this issue. Um, I did a video about how to change the geometry so that you could make this a, f a flat base from here. Um, I'll link to that one in the description. Uh, but again, you could also just... Uh, Fillet it. That's what I do on the plans. On the dome plans I provide, I do a fillet on the bottom, um, which takes out this undulation. Uh, and the reason for that is obviously, um, if you're building a greenhouse, typically is what I design for, um, you're going to need a base round the bottom anyway because you need a base to touch the soil uh, that could be replaced if it rotted. Um, to fix raised beds to so you got you would put a base on it anyway so it's not really that much more work just to fill it up and down let's take an, another look at uh, something else here we go this is a four frequency but this is my own four frequency dome um, and as you can see it doesn't have a flat base either Normally, a four frequency would have a flat base, but uh, it also has six different um, strut lengths. So I changed the strut lengths to four, uh, four panels actually, rather than um, four strut lengths and four different panels. But it will you're left with this. Um, Again, it's an undulation, undulating, undulating base. Now, the thing with the four frequency at that a standard four frequency at this at a half dome, you would get a flat base. Again, it's not a lot of use to you because you would need to put a base beam around there anyway. Um, but if you took a standard, I don't have one on file to be honest. I'm not really keen on the uh, standard four frequency. Um, if you did take the standard one and push it up so that you're, you're not, it's less than half a dome, it would undulate anyway. So you still get that under undulation problem. Uh, there is one way, however, to um, end up with a whole range of other domes, uh, all with flat bottoms, because uh, a lot of people like flat bases, uh, guaranteed flat base, any frequency uh, and half a dome. I'll show you how to do that now. We'll go back to our simple two frequency job and I'll demonstrate. Uh, we'll take the, take the, the floor and this give, that was for our ground section. And what we'll do is we'll rotate this. So 
So we've got our ground section now becomes vertical instead of horizontal. Then we'll pull it out. So effectively what we're doing is instead of uh, I'll just pull about with this there we go instead of making a section uh, horizontally at the ground level we've done a vertical section so what I'll do now is now that I've shown you what we're doing we just rotate that back because it uh, So now that gives us, yeah, uh, what we've done is rotate the whole dome over 90 degrees. And what that gives us here is exactly half a dome, the same, but it gives us a, l a number of um, design advantages, if you like. If you look at this two frequency now, you've got this half a hexagon opening, and that makes it a lot easier to put a door in than it would a standard one. Uh, you also get, uh, if we look at this, if, if you imagine putting a door in there and you looked straight over the top, you could have a door in this side, which is directly opposite. So you can have a walk through dome. You can't do that if you um, have the standard orientation, which is a, is a horizontal section uh, rather than the vertical section. Okay, let me show you how this works on a three frequency dome. Now, if someone was to say to you, I want a three frequency dome, I want it to be exactly half a sphere, and I want it to have a flat base. Uh, most people say, oh, it's impossible. Uh, but if we um, take this, we'll do. Uh, I'm just going to do exactly the same again, to be honest. Uh, that's a double click, I should add a triple click. And uh, if I'll show you what we're doing is, it's this is the center line, obviously. Uh, you can divide it in half on any of these lines on the pentagon, the top pentagon. I'll just uh, pull this out, and magically you get this. We you don't get anything like that. There we go. pull it out to that point there and you can see there's a straight line straight line straight line but you get these um, half triangles so you go straight line straight line straight line half 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 and then you go back to the straight lines again so you get this a group of um, let me just click out of that you get a group of half triangles in the green. We can spin round now that I've tilted it over. Uh, now this one, um, that's what I did with the GD27 kit. Uh, I'll pull up a couple of customer pictures. There's one there. Uh, you can see the door and uh, a straight one and then there's a there's the half triangle starting there uh, now there's some there's loads and loads of advantages of doing it this way I can't think why anybody else hasn't done this uh, let me just here we go here's another one yeah that's a fairly easy one to look at we'll uh, right we'll just make this bigger yeah you can see the half triangles there a uh, nice door opening um, Again, this has this is an exact half sphere, so uh, with the three frequency, you've got that option. Um, it, you can have a two doors in it maximum, uh, a door at this end, and you could put a door at the opposite end. There's no place really for a door anywhere else. So uh, with a standard uh, setup, you can have five doors, 
or look any way around it, but you can never have two doors facing up opposite each other, which is quite useful um, depending on what, what you're using the dome for. Uh, the difference between this one and the standard three frequency, if, you, if you're looking at the um, GD18, for example, it's, uh, it's more than half a dome, um, more than half a sphere, sorry. Um, and that one has 105 triangles. The GD27, which is uh, has the vertical section rather than horizontal, has 90. So you've got less triangles. Um, you've got a flat base. Two door options. It gives you a whole range of other possibilities with a, a bog standard three frequency dome. Finally, let's have a look at the four frequency we just did. Um, uh, you could rotate the dome, but I like to rotate the ground first because it keeps everything um, on the dome not moved. There we go. And then if you want to see how it's going to look flat, just rotate it, but rotate, rotate everything back. Because you, if you rotate the dome around the wrong axis, you can mess it up. And this is an easier way to make sure that you've uh, got everything right. Let's have a look at the four frequency. There you go. And what you, you usually end up with is this half of a hexagon against the ground, which is ideal for putting a door in. So you could put a door in there. You can't do anything with this space here. Let me just click away from that so you can see it better. And you end up with um, all of these half sections running right the way around. And then eventually you can put uh, a door in the back as well. Somewhere in the back. Where, where, where am I looking? There. In there like that. That's the... Uh, the back version so you can have the walk a walk through and then now this will have exactly the same number because it's half uh, you add the, the halves together and um, I think I have a video up on how to make the half triangles it that's again in itself super easy and um, depending on what build method you use I use the um, bevel frame method and it's uh, dead simple to make half frames, so you're not give, you're not giving yourself any extra work. Um, this will also work on class two, which um, people seem to be they don't use very much nowadays. Uh, it, it works so it works pretty much on any kind of dome. It'll work on a truncated icosahedron. Uh, the um, what do they call them? Uh, like a honeycomb style, you know, when they have hexagons and pentagons rather than than triangles diamonds or anything it works on all domes and you're left with this one final benefit is let me just draw a line from here across here which I want that to be straight but uh, we'll just guess it no matter uh, one final advantage is that you can you can make a half dome. I can't get that to come across. I don't know why. Let's try moving the dome instead. This bearing in mind this doesn't have an exact flat base. If we shove that across there you can make a dome that lies against a wall. And that this is the uh, form factor I use for doing the half domes. So you can it's uh, you get you put your flat base as if this was the ground this way, and the ground level here. So you, again, this half dome method I haven't done a very good job of dividing that, but you can get the get the picture really. This will work exactly the same with the two frequency, three frequency, and pretty much any other shape. It's the the only way, the best way I think, of um, going up against a wall, so that you've got um, 
tons of, of design options. Uh, again, that that would be your door, and the only um, limitation is you can't have have it. Your door it doesn't work out the way to come straight straight out the wall and straight through the door. You usually come off at an angle like this. You'd come off at this angle here. Uh, other disadvantages are you can't obviously raise the floor up to make a lower profile dome because then the, all your lines go all, all shapes. It only works at an exact half dome. Um, so get yourself uh, drawn some half domes or try the flat base method. This way instead of trying to change the geometry um, just do a vertical section. I'll leave that with you guys uh, and I'll see you in the next one.